Hey, hey, and welcome in to the Morning Buzz. We appreciate your support and your loyalty to our page. If you're new to the page, thank you for checking out the episode. Please subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything at all. We like to have a little bit of fun. We are presented when we do the Morning Buzz. Actually, Remy Martin is like a presenting sponsor overall for everything that we're doing. So shout out to Remy. I am rocking my Remy Martin hoodie today and we got all the prizes out to fans of the podcast this week i'm very happy about that we got remy t-shirt out remy hat out and uh, some gift cards so that people can buy themselves some remy martin make yourself a sidecar try a remy sidecar i think that you will enjoy it very very much i don't want to spend a ton of time today like just Lapping my gums, but I had this experience last night, and maybe you can relate, maybe you can't to it. It was really great. Like, I was sitting there after the show, like, we usually kind of do, um, like a hey, well, what did we do right? What did we do wrong type thing? Where Speaks and Tanny and Shane and I will sit there for a few minutes, and say, hey, why don't we try this or do this a different way? I've, I've really enjoyed that. In, in, kind of seeing how everyone reacts after shows. Like I'm usually pretty stupid after a show because I feel like I've just kind of given everything. Like I'm, I probably have a better idea to give the show driving home than I do in the minutes afterwards, but this is how they do things. And so I'm, I want to fit in and, and it was cool, but we're sitting there and after we had finished digesting the show, I was like, hey, what is everyone doing tonight? And, you know, everyone had their own thing. Shane Shane was like, man, I'm going to go get into the hot tub. And we didn't know that the new place that he had had a hot tub to us. So it was a big surprise for us. And Speaks did pumpkin carving and Tanny had some, some family time. And I was like, man, what am I going to do? What's the next thing that I want to do today? And I wanted to, I hadn't. I wanted to go and have a steak. Like just, I'm sure that I'm running low on B12 because that's usually what happens is I start craving red meat. Um, for those of you who are new to the pot, I have Crohn's. I also have had a significant part of my colon taken out and the part that digests and absorbs B12 is gone. So I have to get B12 injections like every month. And usually I can tell when I'm starting to kind of run low on B12 is I start going, man, I really, really want red meat. So that's what I wanted last night. And, and so I was saying, oh, I'll just go downstairs to the Rosebud. But I guess the Rosebud has completely turned their menu over and made it like a Mexican restaurant, which I didn't know. And Shane was telling me that. And I was like, really? Now, ordinarily, that's not a problem. You know, you go order a carne asada and you call it a night. But I was like, wow, I haven't eaten in this place before. So I don't know. And I didn't feel like risking it. I wanted something that I knew was going to be spectacular. So I made the decision on the drive home that I was going to go to Asione. You'll hear me talk about Asione a lot. It is my favorite restaurant in Hyde Park. If you have not been to Asione and you're in the area or you're visiting Chicago, I know people are going to tell you about all the great places downtown and they're right. But if you are, you got a kid at UFC or you live close enough where it's not that big of a deal, you should go to Asione. It's on 55th and Lake Park. It's right there in the same uh, little mall as the Trader Joe's right there on the corner, right? technically 55th and Harper. Um, but from downtown, you could take the Metra to 55th. It'll let you off 100 yards from Asione. The place is amazing. And every time I go there, there's always something for me to get. So I'm sitting there thinking, and I'm like, man, I'm doing this. I'm I I am doing the short rib. They have a short rib with the mashed potatoes, 
carrots, which strangely enough, I can actually, most vegetables I can't do carrots, I can't. Some carrots and the crispy onion strings on top, it was absolutely delicious. Like delicious. And I had, and they're the bread that they serve, like they they they're like baking bread in there to bring to your table. It's like a shortbread almost. It's so good with the spicy like olive oil, if that's what you want to do. The vibe is incredible. I, I can't say enough nice things about Asione. At some point I'll I'll give out a gift card or something from there. Because the the people over there are really great. So, you know, I I threw it up. If you want, if you go look at my Instagram right now, at Lawrence W. Holmes, it's in my stories, the, the meal that I had there. And I took a bunch of it home because it was too much to eat in one sitting. But then it's a perfect night last night. And I said, well, I'm already out. Granted, you know, I'm a five minute walk to my house, but I'm already out. Why don't I walk around a little bit, walk this short rib off. And I didn't get dessert, even though they have this incredible lemon cello cake there. That is top notch. One of my favorite things. I didn't get dessert because I knew what I was having for dessert. I knew that, and I needed to get the extra steps in because I knew that, Jenny's chocolate milk, the milk, it's called the milkiest chocolate ice cream is heaven. And I knew I had some of that. My friend Alicia, like she got me, sent me like a package of Jenny's ice cream. It's amazing. So my plan was I was going to go for a walk, walk off some of dinner, head home and get some ice cream. But then I said, well, wait a minute. I'm right down the street from the comic book store and it's Wednesday. And if you know anything about comic book stores, Wednesdays are usually the late days. That's usually when issues come out. So it was a little bit after seven, but the, the comic book store doesn't close till eight. So I go over to my home comic book store, which is first aid comic books on 55th street, right down the street from the restaurant. People have been telling me about storm number one. And I was like, yo, I'm going to go pick that up. So I picked it up. And then I got a, I got a shirt. I texted Layla because I saw a shirt for her. So I got her a shirt. I'll let her debut what the shirt is. If she ever decides to wear it on the air, which I hope she does, because that was the intent of me buying the shirt for her. And then I went home. This is where the adulthood and the childhood me i'm sitting at home and i'm reading storm number one which again fascinating and a a very interesting take on where human mutant relations are at this point it's also beautifully done they made storm like so beautiful in this like on purpose and it it shows like the look at the cover art like the cover art is amazing on this it's well written it it's interesting and it's just hang on let me see if i can i mean that's cool or what the cover is really really cool and usually the cover art but look at this look at look at how they drew storm this is amazing anyway so i'm sitting there i finished reading storm number one i'm sitting there in one of my chairs, one of my swivel chairs, eating ice cream and watching baseball. And it dawned on me that this is like the culmination of that. That's what I was doing 35 years ago. Like when I really started to get into comic books, it was 13 years old or whatever. And we go to, to Crocs, Crocs and Britannos in Evergreen Park. And my parents, basically the, the deal was I had to get a real book for every few comic books that I was going to get, real book. And so I would get comic books and I would devour them. Like I, 
I'd lay on the floor and read comic books and watch baseball. And then if I was lucky, I'd eat ice cream. So it was just this realization last night of look at look at us. 13 year old Lawrence, look at 49 year old Lawrence. He out here, he's out here having a great meal. And the thing that was gonna make him happy was going to the comic book store, picking up a really cool comic. Coming home, eating a couple of spoonfuls of, of great ice cream, watching baseball, and then going to sleep. I, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I am having a perfect night. Great meal. Said hi to pe my peeps over at, at First Aid Comics. They're good folks over there. My guy Tom owned that place for forever. He even gave me a free screening to go see Venom. So if you want to go see the new Venom movie, there's a free screening. I don't think I can go that night. As a matter of fact, I'll give you, if, if you email me, if you're the first person to email me at houseoflpodcast at gmail.com and you want to see Venom on the 22nd of October, at the AMC River East, 7 o'clock, I will give you my pass for you and a friend to go. If it's first come, first serve. And I mean both this contest and going to see Venom. So if you want to go see it, God bless. You can take, take this pass and I will mail it out tonight. And you can go and enjoy yourself. Okay? But yeah, they hooked me up with that. And I just had a great night. And it's funny, like some of those things that you love from your childhood can be extreme. Like it's comfort food. Like I had comfort food and then I had comfort food by walking around my neighborhood. Like High Park was popping last night, was popping. Right there near the lakefront on 55th, right by Promontory Point. And you go home and you have a great time. That's really all I got to say. I hope that there are some things in your life from your childhood that still bring you joy. Whether that's running or getting out and playing ball. Whatever it is. Maybe it's like me, like I know a lot of people are like me that because you, you know, you follow the podcast, but yo, storm number one, highest of recommendations, highest. But I hope all of that stuff brings you joy because it brought me some joy. And I thought I'd share that joy with you. As always, thanks to Remy Martin, our title sponsor. Look at this. Uh, there we go. The Remy. Got the Remy. Thanks to Remy Martin. We appreciate their support. Thanks to you for telling people about this podcast. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the comments. Like, we love it here at House of L. Uh, it's great engagement. And I will talk to you next time, all right? Peace.